when I lived in the U.S., I always thought, how can I go back? That's one reason why after we got married, I went back to school and finished my bachelor's. And I study business administration with a concentration in international uh, business because I always wanted to come back. I, th I thought I have to find something that allows me to, to be in between places, that allows me to travel and allows me to go back. And we found coffee in that process. wanted to be somebody who had access to sell something because then I knew I could I could make more decisions. When we sell coffee, we are able to capture 25 cents that, from each pound of coffee that we sell. That money is used for projects in the community and we have different projects. One is art and family gardens, um, school gardens. Um, and the, the beautiful part of living in a community like mine is that we have um, very talented people and they help us. I can live without coffee. What motivates me is that we can do this work in the community. I was uh, raised by my grandma Adelina and my grandpa Diomedes. Growing up with her, uh, for me, was I always felt like I was her daughter. She will always say that for a woman it was important to have access to, to money because she said when you, have, um, when you have money, you can make decisions. During our time when we were going to school, Lowell was going to school to be a lawyer and I was getting my bachelor's. And they told me that my grandma was sick and we were in Mexico. So we brought her back to, to her home and she passed away here in her, in her house. She left me her coffee farm and, and then we had to be coming back to Honduras once a year to be taking care of the farm, making sure that the farm was taken care of. In 2016, Lowell was, uh, the stress was getting him sick. I always said, well, we, we can go back to Santa Elena. We can live there. And he's like, I don't know. And then one day I saw that we could sell the house and make some money. A year later, we moved to Honduras. Every year we travel to Honduras, we will take a suitcase of coffee. It lasted us like six months, but we also gave it to friends and family. And they said, this coffee is really good and you should bring more coffee to sell. And so with that feedback, it was important enough for us to say, oh, then maybe we do have good coffee. And that's when I didn't have a job. It was like, we should try and bring coffee from Santa Elena to the U.S. We had three bags of coffee that we took to the U.S. Every morning, I will get up and figure out a list of rosters to visit. I will go and ask the rosters, uh, do you roast coffee for other people? Could you help me? I'm from Honduras. I work with coffee producers. Um, this is my coffee too. They were like, no, we only roast our own coffee. One of them said yes and it's Alex from Roscoe in, in the Bay Area. From that point on, it was easy for me to navigate that world because he introduced me to Royal Coffee, introduced me to Blue Bottle, and so it was easier to make connections. When I'm looking to buy coffee for my company, I'm looking for a few things, and one of those is passion and heart. And Myra and the Catracha team, they have that. Right now as we speak, she's down at a river, basically teaching kids how to swim. There's music, there's people playing soccer. I mean, it's absolutely beautiful. We're at the river and today was a day to celebrate that we finished workshop. Kids have been learning to do embroidery in the last few months and today was a day to celebrate and we had like an exhibit of their work. And afterwards, we are here at the river. Most kids are learning to swim 
but most of them are just floating and playing in the water. That only happened because she came back. She came back to Santa Elena. She poured her time, money, effort, and energy into the coffee business, improving coffee quality. And I chose to buy coffee from the producers in these hills in Honduras because of Myra. And the coffee just happens to taste really good, right? Like it just, there's this beautiful story, there's this passionate leader in the community, and the coffee tastes phenomenal. It's still a very important life event for me because it changed the way I see the world, it changed who I am, and it also allowed me to come back to Santa Elena.